so I've probably I've wanted to be in this field for as long as I can remember. I've always wanted to do eye care. I was probably five when I started wearing glasses, and as soon as I sat in that big chair, I knew like this is what I wanted to do. Like I wanted to know why my eyes were different. What made me different from like my mom who didn't have to wear glasses and I started trying to learn about the eye on my own. <laughs> I've always been intrigued with eyes so I've always wanted to actually work with patients one-on-one -on -one, um, ever since I was in middle school so when I got the opportunity to be here that's when I was actually very you know excited because it was a different experience than what I am at right now. I've been intrigued, you know, with the ophthalmology in general, all the subspecialties it has, glaucoma, oculoplastics, uh, refractive surgery, optometry. It's just a wide field that you can just expand your knowledge in. I enjoyed the fact that it was challenging. Um, it was not exactly what I expected it to be. It was very in-depth. You know, we learned a lot of things and we, they really truly prepared us to work in the field day to day. Honestly, it's just interacting with different patients, um, including with the staff. Um, so that was something really nice. You got to meet different people and their different, um, different eye issues and just something that I never knew I would be able to see. So I've enjoyed the preceptors, honestly, like learning from people that have been in our shoes, you know, everyone has just been very positive. Um, we've been learning, you know, how to do one-on-one -on -one patient, you know, interaction as well as with a provider. It's just been, you know, overwhelmingly knowledgeable. To be prepared. Um, it's not a walk in the park. It is very challenging, but it's so worth it. You know, Dr. Lastra and Dr. Kokosa provide, provide a lot of information. Um, so be prepared, take notes, and you'll, you know, you'll do well as long as you do that. Just take notes, uh, pay really good attention, um, not to turn off the cameras, and just try your hardest, because it will get a little bit difficult as time goes, but it, with you know, notes and highlighting, you should be able to go through it. Come to clinic and actually perform the retinoscopy on a weekly basis. It'll help you guys tremendously, okay? I would say take a lot of notes. The lectures are very informative. Uh, very grateful to Dr. Kokoso and Dr. Lastra. They are just like, you're absorbing everything from them. And uh, we ran into Dr. Kokoso here in clinic, so they'll surprise you, you know? <laughs> It is very important to have like hands-on training and the patient care to you, for you, the student themselves to experience them themselves before starting their work, their career. Technicians are like an extensions. The way I see it, are extensions of the arms and hands of the physician. So they play a really crucial role in trying to um, in trying to provide good care uh, for patients. Well, I enjoyed Bethany. I enjoyed how I saw her growth, in both in career and in person. It's always refreshing when there's somebody that's willing to learn, and if I can teach them something, or at least direct them in the, you know, to the correct answer or or um, how to problem solve certain things. Um, you know, I, I really enjoy that. <music>